In problem two of this CLEP test, we're given this equation where we're told that a is equal to negative one and we need to solve for x. So if I rewrite the equation down here with the value of negative one substituted for a, I'll have this equation as you can see now that the a has been replaced. And if we want to solve for x, the first thing we have to do is simplify this right hand side, specifically this negative one to the fourth power. So let's first think about what that means. So a number raised to the fourth power is just the number here, this negative one multiplied by itself four times. And if we do this two at a time, it'll be much simpler. So notice negative one and negative one multiply to get positive one. And here the same would be true, we have positive one. So in the end, we're just multiplying one times one, which we know is one. So negative one to the fourth power is simply one. So rewriting the equation with this new knowledge, we have one plus one all raised to the third power. And now this right hand side, one plus one can be simplified to two, which we have to cube. So seven X over three is equal to two cubed. And in other words, seven X over three is equal to eight, since two to the third is just two times two times two. And then with this equation here, we can multiply each side by three to get rid of this fraction here. So if I multiply each side by three, this three in the numerator and in the denominator cancel, so we're just left with seven X on the right hand side is 24. And now the only thing we have to do to solve for X is divide by this seven here since seven over seven just cancels out to make one. So therefore x is equal to this 24 over seven, which we can't simplify because seven's a prime number and it does not go into 24. But we can write this as a mixed number if we want. Since seven goes into 24 three whole times and it has three left over. So it'd be three and three sevenths.